Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at the brand new Millilator Frost 7.1 version 5 which was just released 2 days ago. Now if you guys don't already know what's Millilator Frost it is basically the folk version of normal Millilator Android but with features like Horizon Emulator with lot of customization, brand new drivers and much more. With that being said here are the minimum requirements you need at least Adreno 6 series or 7 series GPU and Virgil support is also provided inside this emulator so devices with MediaTek processor will be able to use this windows emulator and there are few issues such as snapdragon 8 s gen 3 devices will not be able to create a container snapdragon 8 gen 3 may not be working or compatible with this version so that's what i'll test out i have a snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor android device with that being said let's take a look at this win later frost version 5 so rebuild structure funnily enough snapdragon 8 gen 3 compatibility has been fixed so it should work on my iq 12 the developer has no idea about 8 s gen 3 dxvk 2.4.1 asynchronous has been provided microsoft net framework is also provided alsa audio has been updated and other improvements with bug fixes with that being said let's give it a try so right here is the win later frost version i'll tap on the allow option and let's wait until it has been set up we'll be trying out games like gta 5 in today's video so be sure to watch the video till the end and hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification if you guys are new here because i upload the best emulation for android videos once it is done setting up the assets let's go to settings and check out that y9.2 custom is being used inside this emulator we also have the latest box 86 and box 64 versions and we'll be using the default performance presets uh, which are provided in win later once that has been done let's tick mark and start creating a brand new container so here wine version is set to 9.2 custom in terms of screen size obviously we'll go with something like 800 by 600 which is right here once that has been done we get turnip as well as virgil options so i'll make a mediatek processor setup video pretty soon be sure to hit that like button and we get the 24.1.0 turnip driver in terms of dxvk we get 1.10.3 and just take a look at how many other dxvk drivers are provided we also get asynchronous we get 2.3.1 asynchronous for that as well and even 2.4.1 asynchronous which i think is the newest dxvk driver but for today's video 1.10.3 asynchronous should be sufficient once that has been done let's enable show fps and use pulse audio afterwards set the gpu name as oh my god there are so many gpu name we'll go with gtx 1080 ti the legendary graphics driver and set the video memory size to 4 gb once that has been done let's go to advanced everything is performance and make sure to enable the processor affinity and experimental wow 64 mode has also been turned on startup selection is essential let's tick mark and create our brand new container with the best settings which i just showed you guys and let's tap on the run button to run this container now the reason why i prefer winlater frost comparatively to the normal version of winlater is because of the fact that we get inbuilt input controls which actually work for example just take a look at it we get tomb raider general input controls gothic one dead space virtual gamepad etc which are all inbuilt and if we toggle full screen you will be able to see that winlater frost has successfully started now the next step if we tap on the start option you will be able to see a lot of settings such as input bridge so even using the input bridge touch controls is super easy inside win later frost and we also get add-on apps such as physics vc redis 64 which i recommend to set up inside this emulator so all your games work properly and all of this is inbuilt so you don't have to worry about outsourcing it that's the great part of this folk version of win later android we can even remove the dxvk frame limits to get more than 60 frames per second which is another feature but honestly if you are not playing a low-end game then i don't think it will work so let's move on and test some games and there we go guys our gta 5 is about to start inside the frost emulator and i did not face any issues while opening the game the game launched properly unlike other emulators where i get issues like game not opening black screen four stop crashing etc which is a good thing and i'll be telling you guys how much fps do i actually get while emulating this game unfortunately guys to be completely honest i waited for around five to six minutes but the gta 5 just decided to crash on me so i'm not really sure there might be a workaround to it i'll test it out in my later videos and there we go even the container decided to crash so i think there is an issue with the container let's restart it and try out a different game i think the issue also might be windows version so let's go to the start option wine configuration and yeah there we have it the windows version was set windows 7 so let's set it to windows 10 and now try out a game 
we'll try out God of War and we'll test out GTA 5 in our next gameplay video. God of War opened within seconds and the game is about to boot. As you will be able to see, it seems the games get frozen. Even God of War decided to crash the emulator. So let's try out our most stable game, which is obviously Pal World. And even after opening Pal World, as you just saw, the container crashes. So I think it's still a bug with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, as this is the fork version of WinLater 7.1 Reloaded. So I think if we try it out on a different android device we might get some gameplay results and i have literally spent last 20 minutes trying to get a game working on the win later frost emulator at least on my device but it was not happening maybe a snapdragon 8 gen 3 issue we'll test it out on my samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra in our next video so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye